A slum community is reacting to the terrorist attacks. Megan Packer talked to members of a mosque in Gwinnett County, and Megan joins us now live with their powerful message. It really was, Megan. Well, Sharon, they are condemning ISIS and speaking out against those attacks this week. In fact, this group here has a campaign that aims to clarify misconceptions about their religion. They're also offering reaction to some controversial comments made this week on the campaign trail. Under no circumstances, under no circumstances, I repeat, that Islam permit terrorism of any kind or the murder of innocent people. At Friday prayer at this mosque in Gwinnett County, Muslims spoke out against the terrorist attacks in Brussels. They are members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, a sect of Islam. It is very frustrating and it is very, um, uh, we feel that uh, we want to come out and let people know that the religion of Islam, the great religion of Islam, the teachings, uh, it has nothing to do with the act this small misguided group is doing. Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz is making headlines for comments he made after this week's attacks. He called for empowering law enforcement to patrol and secure Muslim neighborhoods before they become radicalized. That does not sit well with Nafis Rahman. We all are American. We love America. This is our country and we are loyal to America and to marginalize and to have this type of isolation of one group uh, will not be very healthy. The ISIS, as we know, that it has hijacked the name of Muslims, extremists, they are terrorists, they has nothing to do with the Muslim ideology. Now, as for those Ted Cruz remarks, others have spoken out against them, including the New York Police Commissioner. Donald Trump, on the other hand, says he supports the proposal to target Muslim neighborhoods. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll have more on security measures in place here to keep the Muslims who attend this mosque safe. Reporting live in Gwinnett County near Norcross, Megan Packer, CBS 46 News.